Hello everyone, my name is Otavio, thank you to be here and today let's talk about Builders and Fluid API. Uh, but first, please allow me to introduce with the questions. Why should I have or why should I use uh, any of those Fluent API or Builder? Just to simplify, imagine right now that I need to have a person entity, okay? And this person has three fields. The first one, is the name, the second one is the city, and the last one is the occupation, where I have two mandatory fields, the first two ones, so name is city, because on my business perspective, it is impossible to be a person if without name and if without city, okay? And occupation, a, a person might have occupation or might not have. So I will create the gathering setter here and it should reflect. So the string name is mandatory, right? So it used a, a string city as well. However, the occupation might have or might not. So I'm gonna use the optional to make that clear to someone who you option for someone who will use my entity. So I will wrapper with an optional of nullable. So okay. Right now, I have my getters. However, I need to make sure that my person has a huge consistency. So I need to put this validation when I'm building this person instance. Therefore, I need to make sure that every time that when I decide to build a, a person, the person has a name, a city, and the occupation is an optional value, okay? Imagine that I'm using JPA. I will create an empty constructor. Let's deprecate. And then let's create this information here. So right now, I have my let's create a test. I said let's create a test. So basically what I need to do should create person where I have name, I have city, city, and last I have occupation. And let's create this person. Person here that has the name, the city, and finally the occupation. Okay, right now I have my person empty. Uh, it's okay, but I need to have this validation, right? Because it doesn't make sense to have a person if without name. So when I put something like this, it should return to me a new point of exception or something like that. The same thing ha should happen with the city, okay? So right now I have several rules to create a person. And imagine right now the solid principle. When I do have a huge complexity and several rules to build a person, that's the exact right moment to create a builder or a fluent API, okay? So, to my entity to be a rich model class, I need to make sure that every time that I create an instance, 
of person, it should be a valid person entity. In this case, I need to make sure that name and city is not new. When I have a huge complexity, it's not this case. It makes more sense when I think thinking about single, uh, single responsibility to create a class to handle this kind of thing to me. That's why we gonna use Builder or Fluent API. Okay, let's talk about the Builder. Oh yes, another point that I forget. As you can see here, the three ones, the three parameters are string. So I, it's possible to do this mistake because it's not clear to me each parameter is city, each parameter is name, each parameter is occupation. So I might do this kind of mistake to decrease this kind of thing and also to uh, thinking about single point of a single responsibility of my code, I will create a builder. With IntelliJ, it's really easy to do. So I can replace constructor with, with builder and then it will be a factor to me. I will continue. And as you can see, right now I have my builder. One thing that I usually rename is the create person method, especially because it's natural that a person builder build a person. You'd be weird if a person builder build an animal or something like that. So I just put build in the method. But let's move on. So right now it's clear to me that, okay, it's more explicit to me that I put a uh, city and a name and name city. So what can I do is right now it's more explicit that I'm doing that. Okay. Uh, I usually also put this an alias, an alias to, to my builder here. So my person builder build, oops, builder and then it will return my person builder. I will hide the constructor here by package. So person builder. This way, outside this, this package, the unique way to create a builder is using the person builder method. So the idea is to do something like this. That's the right idea, but it's not enough, right? So remember, my rules are, I need to make sure that the name and the city are mandatory. The first step that I will do, once I have a, a, a class to build person, I will create test to this builder, see? Using single of responsibility is even easier to test because I'm able to do okay, should create person or should return new point exception, and the last one, public wide, should return illegal state exception and we go one by one here okay so let's start with I'm using the JUN5 the Jupyter assert her tools no pointer exception and then I will run this way here so person, builder, name, it should return to a point of exception, city, no point of exception, or even 
an occupation, right? Because if I don't want to fill up the occupation, I have the option to don't uh, don't use this method. But when they use, I make sure that the occupation is a val valid value. Let's run for sure. Is one gonna happen? Sputing is running. Let's wait a couple seconds. And here you go. I can put validation on it using the, the API itself name. Name is required. And I can use the power of copy paste here. Cost copy paste here. So occupation. Occupation is required. City. City is required. So here you go. Right now, every time that I, when I decide to use the 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 parameter, this parameter should be valid. Right now, let's go to invalid move. So illegal stage exception. When I have the name Yanaga, but I don't have the city and the opposite so when I have the city Moringa that has the best ice cream flavor by the way it should return a legal state exception okay so I run it to you broken so I need to make sure that I have this validation here so when object is new name or city it should throw an illegal state exception you can create your custom exception i won't go further at this moment but you cannot create a person if not name or city Remember, this is a simple object to create, but imagine right now that the city should, the name should be uh, less than three correct characters, or it should have several validations and so on. So you're able to put this complexity here as well. So let's run the code. Okay, it's running. Let's create Edson Yanaga here. Person name Yanaga and city Maringa and Maringa. I guess I write correctly. And the occupation is Dev Hell. I guess it's advocated you. Sorry, Edson. Hopefully you won't see this video. Yanaga. So so I can do some tests, but I usually don't I don't test the get receptor, especially because it doesn't make sense. And then when I run, it will you be okay, right? Uh, I have validation to my methods. Remember, it might be more complex. It's just a simple one. However, I have an issue here. I will only find out that it's, I got an, it's illegal state on execution time because the API allows me to do name Octavio and then build, right? It's not cool because if I decide to run here, I will go an exception only on when I execute. So let's see, it's running. As you can see, I'm not able to create a name if not name or city. For sure, I can improve the message and do several validation, but the whole point here is I will only find out execution. There's one way to make sure that the construction 
will be also valid on the compilation or build time. We're gonna do that with Fluent API. And that is when we're gonna talk about the Fluent API. Uh, the idea is, okay, I don't want to use that. I need to make sure that every, time, every step is okay and valid. You can do it again with Fluent API. Let's make it possible. First, I will create an interface where I don't have any name ideas. So let's put name person fluent, where you can think about any step or any option of your code as a new interface. Once I have three fields, this one will be easier as move to create. So I will create person city and then a person build. So each step, a new step. So this one here we call the person uh, the person build, where I will request the city. Each one here, the build you have two options: the person build. And also, person, this case with occupation, string occupation. Okay. So basically, the fluent, the fluent, fluent will request a name, and then this one will request the, the city. In the city, we have two options. So think about uh, a navigation menu where each option is an interface. Let's create. So the first one, you be a, it will return a person city. This one, you might use static if you want. So name, I will put a validation there. So object required, name is required. And then it will return a person city. In this case, I can create, I don't know, person DL cell where it will have a name. I need to create this class. Uh, it will implement uh, a city and then the build. Okay, this field here is a final one, and also I will have my city and then my occupation. Okay, I will implement these methods, and I will do the same validation. So, object require a new, this kind of thing. And this, uh, this one here will request build, this one here, it's city, and occupation is occupation. So finally, I have the person build with name, city, and occupation. So right now I have the whole flow. Uh, let ah yes, you can come here and as we created the we usually just have one right it's, it doesn't make sense to have two of that if you want to you are able to put name here string name and based on that it you return person fluent name name 
and here you go uh, person DSL let's create a test Everyone now should create a person and the API will guide me to the right direction so Yanaga can I build? No, I only have the next option, that is the city. So, Maringa. And then I have more options. I able to use occupation or not. Okay, but when I did it with occupation, it will return the person, or if I skip, it will return the person as well. So, right now I'm not able to do this thing anymore. So, it will happen on the on the build time. I don't need to find out on is execution execution time. And that is the idea of the fluent API to to guide the user to do the safe uh, the safe step. Hope you enjoy and yes, see you soon.